Why the Force Skywalker Puma, Evil's priceless guy, Ken Bear. Sorry, you can doing? you price up the two semi finals first, please? Um, and the semi finalist, priceless guy, will probably be one to three to win his semi finalist, and Skywalker Puma will probably be two's on to win his one. And ha have you took any money for any of the others? Um, there's not much really. The, to, uh, to win the semi finals, the two of them look nailed on to win their two semi finals. So all you have is fellas buying money, big players playing. Like, you'll let him, like, let him 600 to win two now in the hand. So, like, that's what you're going to have tonight. Just fellas trying to buy money. Be hoping, you'll be just hoping one of them gets beaten. Because one of them got beaten to do for the books. There are three qualifiers for the first semi final. Oh, Skywalker Puma, uh, Kingo and trap one Denmark Benny. Well my opinion is Denmark Benny, Skywalker Puma and Kingo in the first semi final. Uh, Skywalker Puma, Kingo and Clanar Chief. Uh, Skywalker Puma, Kingo and Tibetan Skies. Uh, Skywalker Puma, Kingo and Tibetan Sky. Well, it'll be very hard to look past Skywalker Puma anyway, you know. Clanar Chief I'd give a chance now, he's good early. And uh, Kinko is the obvious one, I suppose. Skywalker Puma, Kingo and Dan Marbini. Skywalker Puma, Tibetan Skies and Kingo. I'm here with Donald Casey, who was second last year in the ledger with Barry Captain. So Donald, you bred and uh, trained a dog. Yeah, that's right, yes. I bred him and, and trained him, yes. He was second in the final last year. Yes, and uh, he is a... Uh, Ran again this year. He's running, running all the time, like you know. So, but he went out in the first round uh, this year. Went out of the ledger, yes. Tell us what you think of this year's ledger. Well, it's a very good competition this year, and uh, some great dogs in it. But unfortunately, there's two injured now in the semi-finals. Sparta Maestro and uh, Toby's Comedian. But uh, I'd, I'd fancy the dog that won the Derby, the Skywalker Pume. I'd fancy him to win it out. But it'll be Paul Hennessy is a very good dog on this as well. And what dog do you think has been most impressive throughout the stakes so far? Um, uh, Matt O'Donnell's dog, without a doubt. Like. Uh, he's a great dog after winning the derby to come down here to Limwick. Like he was a great man to bring him down here now. Do you know? Is there much pressure handling the derby winner? I oh, know, there wasn't really much pressure on him. He's a, he's a very fast dog. and If he gets a clean run, sure, he's as good as what's in this stake. And, uh,
Matt, we've seen Pume in the wash area and we've seen a little bit of blood. Yeah, he got a stab, a bad stab enough. Like, so the vets put a bandage on him and we just have to wait and see how, what it'll be like during the week. Ah, we'll probably be all right. He's unbeaten throughout the stake and very impressive again tonight. Yeah, he, he got a good welt belt on the corner and he took it and he's a great dog to take a belt. Like, and he, he runs on, he keeps, he's a great trier. And any idea traps for the final? Yeah, immaterial. He'll run his race. Yeah, he's run out of any traps. I told you that before. <laughs> oh, and he showed great back straight pace. He did. He's a nightmare draw. We're just delighted to be in the final. Trap six, like anywhere, anywhere else, bar there. But like, probably going to be six railers in the final. So if he got an inside draw, you know, we're just delighted to be in the final. I'm here at one of the members of the Dazzlin Syndicate. Done really well to qualify tonight. That's right. Thanks very much, yes. Kingo ran a blinder. So we're hoping for next Saturday night now to go two better. And that's it. He flew up to the first bend. He did, yeah, but he got ran into a bit of trouble. But I think he ran on then on the far side and, and he, he came back to fourth or something. Then he ran on and he finished third. Second semi final would be um, Priceless Guy. Uh, Cashin for Muba and leap on board. I definitely think that um, the tour dog is going to win the tenth race anyway. Priceless guy. Priceless guy, yeah. I think he's a certain day. I'd say I'd go for Cashin before and uh, leap on board. that will be my three for that he'd like. Priceless guy, Cashin Muffin and leap on board. Head for fame. Priceless guy and Kesher Mafuma. Uh, two from um, Priceless, Priceless guy. guy and one head for fame and um, uh, leap on board, number five. Priceless guy, head, head for fame and uh, Kesher perfume, uh, Perfuma. Priceless guy, Kesher Mafuma and leap on board. Priceless guy. Head for fame and Kashin Mafuda. Uh, priceless guy, Kashin Mafuma and Leap on Board. I'm here with Dan Shannon, owner of a Leap on Board who's in second semi final. So tell us what your chances are tonight. Well, I suppose they've improved uh, slightly because they're two non runners. So I, I wouldn't give myself much of a chance because um, he was out on the outside, you know, and he likes the inside rails. Uh, but uh, he was out in five, top five. But now uh, top four is out and top six is out, so therefore that should give him, you know, a reasonable run, you know. But um, the dogs he's meeting are, are class, you know. Uh, you know they're very, they're way faster than the clock. So uh, my guy is uh, just, uh, you know, I'd say he's a few lengths short, you know. But he has good early, so he'll have to hit the lid tonight, you know. He'll have to, he'll have to bust out, you know, to to, to qualify because with a four dog race, there won't be much trouble. So Paul, priceless guy, is he in good form? He is, he's in great form. Um, he's been well all week and anything we've done with him has gone well all week. So we're happy enough with him. All we need now is a bit of luck and running, you know. And unfortunate with Droopy's comedian, haven't uh, he was sick this morning, was he? Yeah, he just off colour and didn't uh, eat his breakfast the way he normally would. And he didn't eat up, then we tried to give him a little bit during the day as well. And he didn't even, he didn't even want that. So at this level, there's no point in running if they're not 100%, you know. So um, it's unfortunate because his owners were flying over from England to see him run tonight.
Russell Laguna and Biden meet on board. Our favorite chapter two. And away they go on chapter two. Pike gets by against that one there from one second. Head for game and three. Cushion McCormick at the one for the first time. It's chopped down. Press the sky. Leans up now for five lengths. The one head for game and second and three. Cushion McCormick to it down the back straight. Chop two. Press the sky by seven or eight lengths now. From one head for game and three. Cushion McCormick got around the bottom bend. Press the sky by seven, eight lengths. From one head for game and into the straight. Chop two. Press the sky. He hasn't seen another tail all this. He did, he broke well tonight, thank God, and you know, he settled it pretty early, so um, couldn't be more pleased with him. He's running out of his skin, as I say, and hopefully he'll keep it up now. You know. Any idea what traffic suits for the final? I don't care. Take what we get. You know, we just... You can't be going on picking trap draws because then you won't get the one you want, but it doesn't really matter. He's running well, he's in the final, and that's anybody's goal, is just to get to the final, and after that then you take what comes. Second tonight, you need an inside draw, though. Oh, badly. He badly needs the rails, but uh, he's not coming away at the moment. He's a slight bit of an injury in his shoulder, so hopefully we'll treat him during the week now and see what happens. Like. So we're just delighted to be in the final. Tommy, we're just having a look at the real one here. Yeah, he come away okay. Second going up to the bend. Second for most of the way, got a little bit of a clip off the, off the second bend and went on a bit. Um, the winner was a winner from the, from the time the traps went up, I suppose. So we were happy to be second from there. And when I was out in the park, I was happy where I was. So, you know, and uh, you just keep looking back to see where the others are. But look at he probably tied up a little bit, and the tree dog is probably a little bit stronger there. So we're third and we're there. I'm here with John Gagan, a regular around tracks of the country. So, John, sum up the, the final of the ledger. Uh, well, it's going to be some final anyway, uh, looking at the dogs that are in it there. Um, running tonight, the two semi finalists, they actually uh, ran in Kilkenny in our juvenile classic that we ran there for the first time last year. Uh, one of them was the Puma dog, won it, and the Sky dog was third in that, in that race. So it's uh, going to be a tough final. It depends. The draw will probably play its part. Um, Paul's dog, Skywalker, our, our uh, priceless dog, is running very well here. And the Skywalker, our dog, is a serious dog. He got a bit of trouble at the first spin tonight, so it's, it's a hard call. A bit more. Yeah. And then the first one drawn will be in trap one. Priceless Sky, trap one. King got two. Skywalker Puma three. Cash and Mafuma four. Tibetan Sky is five. And Head for Fame. Can you give us the prices for the final after seeing the trap draw? The, the price of the trap draw was, uh, I'd go evens Princess Sky, sevens Kingo, two Skywalker Puma, ten Cashin, eight Tibetan, and sixteen to one head for fame.